How to connect Payoneer to Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can connect Payoneer to Shopify. So let's get into it. Now, Payoneer is a online platform that allows you to accept and receive payments internationally, and it's very essential that you have multiple different payment getaways on your Shopify store. So how can you directly add Payoneer? Well, there are a few things you have to go through. There are a few loopholes and there are two primary methods that I'll show you guys that you can do to connect Payoneer and Shopify. Now, the first thing to note is that this is not available in the form of an integration. You're going to go into your payment methods and even in your payment methods, Payoneer checkout is not directly available. So let's get into it. The first thing you have to do is open up your Shopify dashboard. And once you have opened up your Shopify dashboard, you're going to click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings on the bottom left, you are going to click on your payments over here. So once you click on payments, you will have multiple different options. So you have payment providers and payment methods. So you're going to click on choose a provider. Now you might be wondering, hey, I'm actually looking for a payment method of Payoneer. But if you go into payment method and search for Payoneer, you're not going to find any results. So that is why you go into payments and then you go into choose a provider. And once you click on choose a provider, you're going to search for Payoneer over here. And you guys can see I don't have any results, but don't worry if you don't find any results over here. Then the alternate thing that you can do is click on add payment method and click on search by provider. And once you do that, you're going to search for Payoneer over here. Now, after you do that, you're going to find this option, which is called Payoneer Checkout. Now, you're going to click on this. And once you do that, you're going to see the transactional fees, the different cards they support. So you're going to click on it again. Now, after that, you are going to click on Connect on the bottom right. Now, once you click on Connect, you're going to click on Install Application on the top right. And just like that, in a couple of seconds, your app will be installed. Now you will see over here, you cannot use this provider if you haven't finished setting up your account with them. So you need to get started with using Payoneer Checkout. So you're going to click on manage over here, and this is going to actually open up Payoneer Checkout. Now in Payoneer Checkout, you're going to click on get started and you can start building your Payoneer Checkout account for you to be able to accept payments via Payoneer. Now, this is just one method to get started. You know, this is it over here. You're just going to enter your information or you can click on sign in over here to sign into your pre-existing account and enable Payoneer checkout or payment checkout getaways for your Payoneer account. This is one way to get started with Shopify and Payoneer. However, for some people, this might seem like too much of a hurdle. So what is the alternate that you can enable? Well, there is one alternate that you can go about with, and that is by going into your Payoneer account. So you're going to simply log on to your pre-existing Payoneer account. If you don't have one, you will have to sign up and you will have to provide your identity verification. Once you've done that, you're going to click on get paid on the left toolbar. Once you click on get paid, you're going to click on receiving accounts. Now over here, you're actually going to build a receiving account. So you can click on request account over here and request for a new account, whichever one that you might want. And you can see if this is your account, what you're just going to do is that once you have your account created, whichever account it might be, if it's in the UK, USA or wherever, you're primarily going to be accepting your payments. Once you have your account, you're going to click on the account and then click on connecting to a marketplace. So you can see over here, some marketplaces require that you list the name registered with the platform as the beneficiary name. And you can see over here that you have all of your basic info provided. Now, after you have all of your approved accounts, let's say I have this basic account and you guys will see what this account is available for so payments made from personal bank accounts will be declined payments made from a bank account in your name will be declined wire transfers are not supported only payments for business transactions from business accounts are accepted so you guys can see this account wouldn't be valid for me to use so to make sure that the account is valid always go into your account guidelines to see the account that you have 
Now, once you have a actual business account, you can go on ahead and link that business account over here. You can click on request account and you're going to click on next. You can choose the zone that you want over here. Let's say you want this one and then click on next over here and then you can submit your request and then ask for a business account and then just link that account over here. Now, these are just two different ways where you can integrate Pioneer. One of the simplest ways to accept Pioneer could be to use it manually. So if you are facing difficulties in integrating Pioneer into your Shopify store, in that case, I would recommend building a manual getaway. What this would mean is that you manually check if someone has paid to your Pioneer account and then you send them the order. But how can people know where to send their money? Well, to set that up, you can go back into your Shopify store. And once you're in your Shopify store, click on settings. And once you click on settings, you want to click on payments over here. Scroll down and click on add manual payment method. And then you're going to click on create custom payment method. Over here, you're going to add Pioneer and you're going to enter your Pioneer email, so whatever it is, you know, whatever email you're using for Pioneer. And then you can add the instructions. So send your listed order total to this account. Keep a screenshot of your payment and then an email will be sent to you within 24 hours for order confirmation and then send your screenshot. So whatever manual payment getaway you might want to build, these are just a couple of different steps that you can do. But I would recommend the first one to be the easiest because if you go with the Pioneer checkout provider, although it might take some time for you to actually get your account created, you're going to click on over here. You aren't connected to Pioneer checkout because you need to finish setting up your account. So you can just click on manage over here and then you can click on get started to get started with building your checkout account. So whatever your email address is, your phone number, and then you can add some basic info like this and then click on submit over here. You're going to enter your phone number and business details, obviously. But once you have completed all of that basic information, you can get started. Now, keep in mind that if you have a personal Pioneer account, if your account is not a business account like I have over here. So if I go into the actual Pioneer homepage, so if I go into my own account, because this has been structured as a personal account, usually you can't get paid directly to a personal account. So whenever you are building your account for Pioneer, for accepting Shopify payments on Pioneer especially, then make sure that you are always, always, always creating a business account. With a personal account, you have certain limitations that will not enable you to connect directly to Shopify. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and I will catch you guys in the next video.